Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about Macro Monster from MacroMonster.com. I was just playing with it, and I don't know how many times I've been wanting to do something like this to fill in. So you just make a shape, and I'm going to do two little macros today, and then I'm going to call it a day. Fill in circles. I'm going to say I want the step count to be six, which means, I guess, the size of the circles. I want the minimum size to be, I'm going to leave it that size, a maximum two inches, and I'm going to put apply. And in that quick a time, it did that. Let's do it again. Circle fill in. I need to select a shape. Circle fill in. Let's do, a, let's make the smallest one one inch and the biggest one three and see what happens. Not as cool when you don't have as many little ones, but let's back up here and do that again. Let's make it fill in circles. Let's make the little one 0.25. And let's go seven count. See if the, you know, then you can even set the minimum distance. I didn't even see that 0 0.01. Let's hit that. That's pretty cool. Now, also in the same E cut under effects, there's a puzzle generator. And a lot of people through the years have been asking about how to make puzzles. Well, this is so simple, it's it's uh, almost scary. So let's get these puzzles out of the way. And it's going to put it in the bottom left-hand corner. So you make a puzzle. And I made a, let's just make another one. Let's make it 12 inches by 12 inches. And let's have four columns of each and hit apply. And in that length of time, it's actually doing something else further I don't think we need but you've got a puzzle now I took a puzzle and made it the size of a photo of my grandson batting and if you've ever wanted to do a puzzle a picture puzzle uh, this would help you quite a bit anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching